Hi, welcome. Birthday hat. Is it my birthday? No. But funny story, um, funny story, uh, I didn't realize until, uh, like today, I was looking at my profile on social media. I was looking at my profiles on social media and I was like, this still has my age from last year. I'm 28 now. What is this? I really should have gone live earlier in the day. It's late on a weeknight. There's no, none of the people that I would like to be here are available at 1030 at night on a Wednesday, but that's when I'm available to stream. I had projects to do and I uh, finished one of them. Anyways, let's watch this. Let's watch this trailer. Let's, let's watch this trailer. Let's watch this trailer, dude. All right. Get this prime logo off my screen. First of all, no one has a choice. Actually, no, no, no. Before we actually start, important thing before we actually start, um, the writers and the actors that worked on this show, that worked on the Wheel of Time, these writers and actors, they're on strike because Amazon and Sony and the big studios they work for on other projects, they're not paying them what they deserve, chat. We got to support SAG. We got to support WGA. That's important. That's more important than enjoying our silly TV show about funny magical witches, you know? Just want to say that up front. Have that in the in the HUD there. My my birthday hat. Okay, we're actually going to get started. We're actually going to talk about Wheel of Time, I promise. And every choice has a consequence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So main thing call to action if you if you want to support the WJ Sports SAG after all, one of the big things you can do is donate to the Entertainment Community Fund. I know I already have a payment thing on my HUD right now. I've got two right now. It's fine. That um, that's a good way to help them out, help the people that are striking continue to afford their bills while they're not doing work. You know. Um, anyways, let, let's um, let's 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 uh, continue there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I missed something. I was looking at my phone. I was looking at my phone. No one. Yes, this right here. Really want to discuss this. It's, a, it's no something I'm actually going to say about the trailer, not about SAG AFTRA. No one God, it goes by so fast. Um, no one. Shit, I still missed it. No. This, like. That's as lit up as we're gonna get. This like room of like dark friends or forsaken or whatever it is, talking to each other around this table, is important. It's we we gotta talk about this um, because, like, I really want to speculate about this because this is so similar. This like room of a bunch of people sitting around a table. It's so similar to like a writer's room, which is one of the things that the studios are like trying to get rid of, and one of the reasons that the WGA is on strike is that like they want to get rid of the idea of the writer's room what the heck the studios want to get rid of the writer's rooms they want to replace them with mini rooms which are like they're in the rooms writing for shorter times there's fewer people doing it it's less people doing more work for less pay because it's over less time uh it's bad because one it's overworking your people it's overworking the writers and not paying them enough and two because it's fewer people um it makes it harder for newer writers to break into the industry they're bad for aspiring writers like myself they're bad for the writers that are already in the union it's one of the big reasons that the wga is on strike i just thought that was interesting that's 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 just the connection i made in my mind when i saw this like room of uh, people around a table you know together we face the impossible but now we're not Um, don't skip. Just while we're talking about the Writers Guild and the, and the Actors Guild, um, there isn't like a boycott, right? So they're not asking us to not watch our favorite TV shows and movies, whether that's The Wheel of Time or, or something else. Like they're not asking us not to still watch these shows. If the studios are seeing that like streaming services are continuing to be unreliable, 
they're going to continue to say that like look we can't have this what you're pushing for as our minimums why won't that stay on so there's not a boycott it's okay to keep watching your favorite shows it's okay to keep going to theaters keep your your um, subscriptions going that's good that's fine the problem is is that um it's very easy. Studios already have a record of reaching out to influencers when they don't have the actors doing like press tours, interviews, hot ones appearances, convention appearances. When they don't have access to that, what they will often do is reach out to influ social media influencers and have them help market the movie for them or the show for them. That's going to be that that's kind of where the problem lies is that we want to still engage with these works as fans, as consumers. We cannot be doing the work of these striking actors while they're on strike. We cannot be doing promotions, whether we're getting paid for it or not. We cannot, as regardless of we're getting paid for it or not, if, if the studios are trying to get us to do like influencer marketing to try to promote the shows and the, and the movies and stuff ourselves, we can't be doing that because that's doing the work of these actors who are trying to show the studios how valuable their work is. Jesus Christ. Something else to consider while we're like watching this like Wheel of Time thing. Uh, Wheel of Time is a world where there's like a lot of... There's all these different characters, all this different stuff going on. Um, so much interconnected stuff. Um, like it's important to realize that the real, real world is big and it has more than one uh, main character as well, like Waffle House employees are on strike, the UPS uh, union is probably going to go on strike. Like, it's good to support those guys too, and because they're not, like, movie stars, we don't see as much of it, like, in front of us as much, especially, like, on Twitter or what have you. Um, good to support those guys as well. The real world is big, complicated. Capitalism is big and complicated. It's important to support the little guy in all these places, I don't have specific calls to action for these, um, and I'm already giving you multiple calls to action in this, so I don't want to overwhelm you, but, you know, there's more going on than just the writer's strike and the actor's strike, and me not being able to afford transition. The whole world will be ours. Okay, actually, I'm going to slow it down for this one. I, just real quick, want something I want, actually want to say about the trailer. Real quick. And then we'll get back to the bit of, like... So they're in like a jungle. This woman is like attacking Egwene and Elaine with one power. I keep going back too far. Bam, bam, you see that. Imagine if like those palm trees weren't there. Imagine if like, just as an example, if Universal Studios like chopped all the branches off those trees and then like you're Egwene, you're Elaine, you're fighting for your life and the sun is beating down on you while it's happening. You don't even have shade. Imagine how much worse that would be. Imagine if you're picketing for your right to earn a living wage and Universal comes and they cut down the, the trees next to you. And imagine it's not even legal. Imagine if those trees belonged to the city of Los Angeles and Universal came and cut them down because they're not afraid of anything. Uh, the studios have too much power. It's bad. They hate life and people anyways so the point is support wga support sag after support the waffle house and ups people that are striking um donate to the entertainment community fund donate to me uh the this like girl stream goal that i have that resets next wednesday you guys have one week for that um but also, uh, don't scab. Mini rooms are bad. Anything else? Trees are important. Don't. I am the Joe Rex, and I speak for the trees. And for striking unions. But also take the unions word over me. Anywhere that I said something that may be incorrect. There are a few places where I may have spread misinformation. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, always listen to the official sources, not some Joe on the internet. Uh, anyways, thank you and good night. I'm going to play Pikmin, and then I'm going to edit this. I had to do three takes of this. I did, I did one take, and I was like, that's good. But hey, no one's been in chat. I should, like, get a second take so I can, when I'm editing this, 
I'll have options when I'm editing. Um, and then I, I got about three quarters of the way done. I was doing the like, don't scab speech. And I realized, for whatever reason, my React stream setup has the mic muted. Like, the, the gamer setup is fine. Gamer setup has the mic. I think the mic is actually bass boosted, or like audio boosted, higher in the gaming setup. 